What's up, YouTube? I am DJ Martini Midwest, or on YouTube, I am Midwest Raider. I'm also DJ Martini Services on Facebook. Anyways, I wanted to bring you guys a quick video, review video on this ProRec Club 3000 powered subwoofer. Um, the reason why I'm doing it is because there's not a lot of information on the internet right now on it. It's a, it is a new company item out for 2018 on eBay and Amazon. I'm not affiliated at all. I'm just doing a honest review because there's not a lot of information out on it. So I thought if I could help you guys out there that, you know, that makes me happy because I get to help you guys and let you know what's going on with this, this unit here. So, um, the reason why I bought this unit is because I was actually looking for a plate amplifier to be more portable for a small gig, um, small party type uh, DJ system. That way I wouldn't have to lug out, you know, all my good stuff. Um, and you know, I'm not, I just kind of a small unit. You don't always want to like take out your real big equipment for small gigs. And some of that, you know, equipment that I have is very expensive and I'd rather not take that to a party gig where somebody might, you know, knock it over or something. So I'd rather take some more inexpensive stuff that works good and um, still gonna, you know, get me, a, you know, good praise and, and uh, it's still gonna work for me, but it's just, I'm not quite concerned about that equipment as other equipment. So um, at the same time, do I believe this could be a really good starter system? Heck yeah, uh, I have, like I said, I, I've uh, been DJing, a little quick background for about eight years and I've you know, messed with audio equipment my whole life. So uh, car, pro, audio, DJ equipment. So I've been around it a lot, so I kind of have an ear for some good stuff, and uh, that's why I'm kind of bringing you a video on this. I like to find that stuff that's uh, not well-known, not name brand, but still works pretty good. Uh, and if I can find stuff that works good, and uh, in my opinion, and uh, still sounds decent, and uh, brings you a certain quality for the price, I'm all about it. Uh, like I said, I have all kinds of good equipment uh, based on opinion, you know, QVC, PV, EV, um, uh, Mackie, uh, JBL. I, I've used and have a lot of that equipment and I use it for big gigs or weddings and things like that. But uh, you don't always wanna just take that to a house party. So anyways, I bought this unit more for a plate amplifier. Um, now, I will go over and give this a quick review and uh, let you know what's going on. So, to get started, it came in this box. Uh, it says it's a ProRec Club 3000. It's a 12 inch, 3000 watt uh, sub box. Um, it came really good, pack, I mean, pretty well packaged. Um, usually these things kind of get beat up when they're shipped, but this actually came in one piece and, and it looks really good. Um, I was really impressed that it comes with uh, this nice coating actually on here. I don't know if you can see that. Let's see if I can, I think you can if I go like that. There you go. Very nice coating, protective coating. We know how we throw this stuff around in cars, trucks, whatever, and uh, it gets scratched and beat up pretty good. And I think this coating will kind of stand up to that. It comes with these nice handles for portability, it weighs about 44 pounds, so that's actually really good. It comes with a top pole mount. But on this, I had to put this in myself. It comes with one in there, but it comes with the, uh, the uh, threaded type, and I don't have that, so I had to take this out and put one in that I could use. It was really easy, about a minute, four screws, and it be pretty universal, size fit perfectly, and I just switched them out. But it will come with this threaded type of pull mount if you purchase that. Um, the front screen is very nice, very professional looking, has their ProRec label, uh, nice screen. You can't see through it, it has a mesh behind it as well, um, so you can't actually see the sub. I actually took this off and uh, looked at the uh, subwoofer itself. It's a very small paper thin cone, kind of on the cheaper side I would suggest, but uh, it does work. Um, the box is actually very well built, very well constructed, screws and everything. There's no rattles at all. So that was actually impressive. Um, we'll take a quick look at the 
the back of this it actually you can kind of see everything there I'll give you a close-up real quick I'll send you back there and kind of just go over it with you real quick um, so you're gonna get your power switch here your um, power cord cable right there you have a fuse in case you blow a fuse you're gonna get two speaker outputs one speak on subwoofer output you're gonna get two mic or instrument inputs you're gonna get a main uh, like uh, line in or it could be mp3 in here and you got quarter jacks and you also have your um, RCAs you're gonna have RCA outputs for a monitor speakers or maybe another powered sub or whatever else you needed to connect to it um, on, on each of those you have you know volume controls on the mics you have uh, an effect which is kind of an echo bass treble and your main volume so this would be an actual great PA system it would also be a great karaoke type system um, you have your main volume for your your main input there and you also have a sub volume you have a nice EQ up here it actually works pretty good and you're gonna actually need it to get the best sound out of this sub um, it has a it's Bluetooth capable it has a little LED screen here so you can kind of see that and it has a, a SD card reader and a flash drive uh, type reader as well it has a fan on it the fan is actually really quiet so I never had any issues with the fan comes with your plug-in of course and it comes with a remote control for the Bluetooth and you know the SD card reader it also has uh, comes with a manual so those are all the things you'll get in the box now let me break it down for you so let me tell you there's reasons why you would buy this now it is cheaper and everybody's like you get what you pay for but you actually get a very good component plate amp here so I would say it's personally worth it just for the plate amplifier itself now do I think it's 3000 watts no I do not um, but it is very loud when you hook it up to other speakers so when you hook it to you know your two two speakers sounds very good highs mids clarity microphones sounded excellent I mean it, this thing as a PA system very good I'm for the price range I have no complaints for this thing as a powered subwoofer mm, I'm not impressed um, it has a very high punchy bass very high and and when I say high it's not like that low club sound like that low air breathing low thump it's a very high punchy sound and you know it's noticeable it's hearing you can feel it a little bit but you're not gonna get that low thud that you think of when you think of a club and so instead of the pro rec club 3000 i think they should probably call this the pro rec pa 3000 because this thing would be an awesome pa system it would be an awesome karaoke system it would be an awesome you know run-of-the-mill um, people announcement type uh, system so now if you're buying this as just a powered subwoofer no I am not gonna give this good grades it is not the best powered sub put it that way now if you're buying this as a component system where you're gonna use it to hook up other things you're gonna use it for a PA system you're gonna use it uh, for a karaoke system an all-in-one unit that you can still have a sub connect two speakers to it then I am a hundred percent into this thing this thing is gonna work perfectly for what I'm gonna use it for I'm gonna use it for a PA system I'm going to use it I, I don't do karaoke but you could use it for that um, but as a PA system this thing is the clarity I cannot tell you how good the clarity was with the speakers I used it with <clears throat> now this uh, system does come with um, I just bought the powered sub but it does come as like a, a total combo kit where it has uh, you know two poles 
the powered sub, another passive sub, and two array speakers uh, for 569. And I think that would be a heck of a deal if you're just looking for a PA system for small gigs um, and uh, house parties. This thing would totally blow anything at its price range away. Now there is another system called the Earthquake 2.0 and I honestly believe it's like their competitor because they their two systems look almost identical except for the badging and but the earthquake system is a lot more expensive so I'm not sure how they compare I would actually believe the wattage more on the earthquake system because it I think it says it's around 2,000 watts and not 3,000 watts like I said I don't think this thing puts out 3,000 watts I would say RMS wise for the subs It'll power this sub and another sub at about 250 watts, so about 500 watts, split that. Um, so 250 watts of power, I honestly believe it probably puts that out, and I honestly believe it probably puts out another 200 um, watts for your, for your uh, other speakers. So um, your two pole mount speakers, I would say it probably puts out 200 watts for those. So I, I would say it's overall about a 1,000 watt system. Uh, I would honestly believe that more than 3,000 watts. Um, but I honestly believe I'm happy with this for what I'm going to use it for. <clears throat> like I said, I'm going to use it for like a backup. Uh, I wouldn't even say backup. I'm going to use it for a small party house system. <clears throat> mm -hmm. um, when I go to do little house parties, uh, when I do, you know, just small gigs for friends, <clears throat> I'm going to take this. Uh, two two small pole mounted speakers uh, passive and uh, I'm gonna hook it all up just into this unit and it's gonna be all right there for me guys um, I think that's gonna work out really good for me like I said if you want to add a little bit more low end you can hook this up to another passive sub that it'll power another passive sub and you might be able to get that more um, throaty low sounding bass out of your system because <clears throat> I actually did hook it up to another powered sub and I was able to get more bass out out of it I don't know how their sub sounds that you get from ProRec they have another passive sub that could come with this system but uh, like I said I don't have that <clears throat> but I hooked it up to another one that I have and it actually produced uh, pretty good bass when I hooked it up to my other sub so um, so Bottom line, if you're buying this as a PA system, if you're buying this as a uh, mobile unit, I think it's a good mobile unit, uh, karaoke unit. But if you're buying this just as a powered subwoofer itself and you're just going to use it for a powered subwoofer, I don't think it's the best quality out there. Uh, I think you could probably do a little bit better uh, if you're just looking for a powered sub. But if you're looking for a portable PA system with everything you need to get started, just hook up a microphone, your laptop, and you're ready to play music. If you bought the whole system, uh, I think it, it think it's a good little system. So um, I hope this helps everybody out there. I hope that um, you got a little information about it. Uh, might make you might help you make a decision on it if you're thinking about doing it. Like I said, it's a good speaker uh, if you're you know, using it for everything that it has. If you're just using it as a powered sub, then it's not the best out there. You could probably do better. I would probably purchase something else. But if you're buying it as a whole system, you're buying this for the plate amp, for the sub, you're gonna get two arrays with it, and you're gonna hook it all into this unit, it's a great portable system. PA. It's not going to be your club system where you're going to be shaking the walls and, you know, uh, low, low bass. You know, like I said, it has a high punchy bass that's noticeable, but you're going to need more. So, uh, depending on what you're going to use it for, I think it could be good. So, if you're starting off, I think it could be good. So, you know, uh, there's a few different levels of uh, system you can buy with this, but I would definitely recommend ProRec. Um, I'll let you know how long it lasts. Um, 
but uh, I think it's going to be a good little system. So I hope this helps anybody out out there. Please like and subscribe if it did help. Uh, I have two more videos coming out of some other equipment that I'm going to be reviewing. So if you guys want to tune in for that, if not, uh, I hope you guys have a good day. I appreciate you guys tuning in and uh, I hope this, you know, helps you guys out if uh, you're thinking about uh, buying any of this equipment. So thank you very much and uh, we'll see you guys later.